Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be showing my Guardians Rising Pokemon card collection. And I have completed the entire set. It was an expensive set to complete. Spent over $400 on singles completing the set and then opened up about 300 booster packs of Guardians Rising to complete the set. And if you're interested in seeing other collection videos that I've done, you'll find a button on the screen and then a link in the description of this video to my collection playlist. List. I've done a lot of XY series collection videos as well as a Sun and Moon set collection video recently. So this video just includes the ultra rares and secret rares from Guardians Rising. I have 71 total and I have completed the master set of Guardians Rising, but that would make for too long of a video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through each and every ultra rare and secret rare card. And at the end of this video, I will lay out all the cards on the table. And then Monday, I plan on doing a top 10 video of my favorite cards from this set. So first up would be the Pokemon GX, and there are 12 different Pokemon GX in the Guardians Rising set. These are on average 1 in 9 packs, and in the couple of booster boxes I've opened up on YouTube, I've pulled 4 in each box. But I have 30 total GX cards, I can go through them now. So just one Turtonator, and all of these cards are up for trade, but in trade I'm really only looking for Gold Star cards. And I can definitely trade a lot of cards from this set for just one Gold Star card. Alolan Ninetales is next. I have six of these. So this is the one I have the most of for regular GX cards. These cards are actually almost easier to pull from packs than hollow cards. Same goes for Sun and Moon. Regular GX cards are pretty easy to pull. Wishy Washy I just have one of. Vicavolt I have five of. I believe I only had to purchase one of these GX cards. I was able to pull the rest of these from packs. And then Tapu Koko I have two of, of course one of the featured Pokemon for Guardians Rising. Toxapex, just one of. And then Tapu Lele, one of the best GX cards in this set and one of the most valuable cards. I have four of, so I was happy to pull so many Tapu Lele. And then Lycanroc, four of this card. Midnight Form. Opened up a Lycanroc GX box as well, previously on my channel. And then Metagross, I believe this is the only GX card I had to purchase. Actually isn't that valuable, so it wasn't too bad. And then Sylveon I have one of. And then the last two GX, Kamo-O and then Dramp, I have two each of. There is Drampa. I've done a video on how much all of these cards are worth, if you'd want to take a look at that. You can have a button on the screen that will lead you over to that video. Pokemon GX Full Art cards are next, and these are some very beautiful looking cards. 12 total in the Guardians Rising set, so each regular GX is also available in GX Full Art form. On average, you get one GX Full Art card per booster box. I have 14 total in my collection. Starting off with this Turtonator, I have two of. And I did a huge, a couple of huge Guardians Rising openings, a 40 and a 50 booster pack opening. That's where I got a lot of these ultra rares from. And then Alolan Ninetales I have one of. I have mainly one of each GX Full Art, Wishy Washy, Vicavolt, Tapu Koko, Toxapex, Tapu Lele, a very valuable card. There's a Lycanroc, a Metagross, Sylveon, probably the second most valuable GX Full Art. And then I have two Kumo OGX, and then Drampa would be the final GX Full Art. Next up would be the Full Art Trainer cards from Guardians Rising. Three different ones, I have three total in my collection. These on average are about one per booster box, or one in 36 packs. And the three are Hala, How, and then Molo. And all three of these are worth five to ten dollars a piece. Easily the most valuable type of card in this set would be the GX Rainbow Rares. And these are secret rares, 15 different Rainbow Rare GX in this set. And on average, they're 1 in 72 booster packs. You can get a Rainbow Rare like this plus a secret rare energy or trainer card in one booster box. And the reason there are 15 total as opposed to 12 like the GX Full Art and the GX is that the three Stage 2 starters from Sun and Moon are reprinted in rainbow rare form in this set. So started off here and I have one each of all the rainbow rares, so 15 total. Started off with the Decidueye, 
probably my favorite of the three Stage 2 starters, Incineroar. And these again are reprints from the Sun and Moon set. In that set they're only available in regular GX form. Turtonator, Primarina, Alolan Ninetales, I remember pulling this one from a pack. Most of these I did have to purchase. Wishy Washy, Vicavolt, Tapu Coco, Toxapex, Tapu Lele, one of the most valuable cards in this set. Double Colorless Energy is the most valuable. There's Lycanroc, Metagross, Sylveon, Kamo'o, and then a Drampa. Final type of card that I'll be showing in my collection video would be the Secret Rare Trainer and Energy cards. I have won each of these. Pulled a couple from packs, but for the most part had to purchase these as well. Most of them are worth between $10 and $20. So first up here would be Aqua Patch. There's an Enhanced Hammer. Field Blower. Max Potion. Rare Candy. Double Colorless Energy, the most valuable card in the set. It's worth right around $80 right now. There's a Grass-type Energy, a Lightning-type Energy, and then the final card would be a Fighting-type Energy. So there you have it. There's all 71 Ultra Rare and Secret Rare cards in my collection from the Guardians Rising set. What I'm going to do now is cut this video, lay out all the cards on the table, and then give you a good overview. And again, I'll be doing my Top 10 Guardians Rising Pokemon card video this coming Monday. So, I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and here are all 71 Ultra Rares and Secret Rares laid out on the table. Again, a very expensive set to collect. I can give you a little bit closer view here, but I'm almost getting tired of how expensive all of these sets are to collect. I don't know how younger people out there can complete these sets. I used to put about, you know, $200 or so into each set to complete it. Now I have to put $800 to $900 per set, so it definitely adds up quick, but I think it's worth it, and I think these cards will be worth it in the long run. So there you have it. There's all 71 cards laid out on the table. Again, if you'd like to see other collection videos, make sure to check out the link in the description of this video. So there you have it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.